So good news for farmers in Nyeri and some more good news in this bulletin as we now head northwest to the inspiring story of former cattle rustlers who've now turned a new leaf. KTN's senior North Rift reporter Mercy Kandier visited a school of a kind where cattle theft is being traded for something much better. It may seem like a normal school day, but aside from the normal that is acquired here on a daily basis, both the students and teachers strive for much more than just education, peace. Here they learn to tolerate each other. The pupils are from Pokot, Turkana and Maraquet communities, known for their constant cattle raids. Most of the children who are now in Saturday 8 and Saturday 6 would be used to go and do the raiding, but because they have come in, uh, that already has, 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 has been minimized. And it... Many were brought up knowing their communities are enemies, believing that livestock is more valuable than anything, including education. Their nomadic culture was also a hindrance to education, so the pupils here are boarders. I've had somebody killed somewhere, so that one can also make this, most of these children not to come, and especially those, are, those who, who, who do come from surrounding, because they need some escort at the time. Reading Primary School in West Pokot was established in 2005 in a bid to end the perennial fighting. Built in Tarquel at the border of Turkana and Pokot in the hope that when the children set foot here, they'll put their differences aside. Peace is being taught. We also, we also let them know uh, the importance of, uh, of having that peace. According to Todo, when the school began, they had three incomplete classrooms and no dormitories. At night, they would sleep on a rock in the school compound. The Kerio Valley Development Authority and Wild Vision stepped in to complete the school, but with a student population of 556, there is need for more teachers and other facilities. The class teacher. One teacher manages two classes right now. 90 kilometers from the school is another peace project, fish farming, aiming to reduce the raids and keep the youth engaged. It may tarry, but hope here is high that one day the communities will set their cultural differences aside and strive for one goal, peace. Masikandia Katian, West Pokot.